Hey guys, John here with ProH Paintball. I'm back with another weekly video. We get a lot of questions about what kind of protective gear should I wear, my kids starting to play, or I'm a grown man, I don't like getting shot, it kind of hurts a lot. Either one, whatever the case is. Um, so today we're gonna go over what we think is our, like basically our top two favorite chest protectors and why we like one more than the other one. So our two choices that we carry mainly in our store and online, uh, there's a ton of choices out there, but these are our favorite that we've ran into over the years that last the longest, protect you the most and are best for the price in our opinion. So first things first, the entry level vest that we like is gonna be the Exalt chest protector. So Exalt makes a lot of soft goods, arm pads, knee pads, slide shorts. I've worn them for years. They tend to last a long time. So I believe this retails for about $50, $45-$50 and it's got very very thick chest padding here. So for the majority of you it's gonna be completely okay to get shot in the chest. I mean this is probably at least a quarter inch probably at least a quarter inch of foam all the way down to like, let's say my belly button here, all the way up through your shoulders, your arms, um, not actually across the top of your shoulder, if you can see that at all. So it's gonna have it up to the front here, but over the back, there's no padding at all, but down to the arms, all the way around through your bicep, it's gonna have padding all the way around here, but nothing for your arms. So if you are worried about your arms, a hoodie works really well, or they do make matching uh, arm pads that will protect your elbow, arm pads, and the back of your hand. So they're really nice on that one. As far as the back goes, it does cover all the way down the back. Um, it kind of leaves a little room here, probably right above the um, right above your butt, I guess you could say, because a lot of players will wear like a paintball harness or a pack, and that does protect your back. So you don't really need all that padding all the way down there. The only thing I don't like about this one that one of my other ones offers, there's no side protection. So this is one of the most tender. If you've ever been shot in your side, little love handle here, this is very very tender spot. Typically, you're holding your gun. You're like this so you're wide open right here and you do get shot um, in your side and it hurts it bruises real bad looks real ugly um this part on the on the chest protector does not have any padding underneath the arm so all the way down the side here there's no padding so front and back is great but nothing on the side so this would be a great chest protector if you're going to wear a hoodie when you're playing because a hoodie is going to offer a little bit of padding on the side um but not fully padded you really don't want to feel anything I'll show you the other one, it's a much better choice. So this here, as far as sizing goes, I definitely recommend, like let's say I wear a large shirt, I would go one size bigger than you wear uh, your normal shirt. And the reason for that is you're gonna sweat, it's gonna be really hot, you wanna be able to breathe, um, you want a lot of room in there. So at the end of the day, you're not struggling to get it off. It's not supposed to fit skin tight, like an Under Armour shirt, you wanna be able to breathe. And also, the more room you have between your body and that paintball hitting you when it hits the outside material, it's gonna take away that pain, take away that impact. So if I had a big shirt on and it's sticking out here, that paintball is gonna hit that shirt and the shirt's gonna take most of the impact and I may not feel it. So the same thing applies when you're wearing a chest protector. Do not buy, unless you just wanna look cool and wear super tight clothes, uh, don't buy the same size that you're gonna wear like your normal t-shirt or polo shirt or something like that. So this is the Exalt chest protector. Again, these are about $45, $50. And this one's actually called the Alpha chest protector. It usually comes in three or four different sizes all the way up, that's a 2X, 3X. So this is the Planet Eclipse Overload Chest Protector. This is my favorite one. They are the more expensive one, but as you can tell, a little fancier looking. Look at that side padding all the way down the side. So it's gonna cover your arms, your top of your shoulder. There's not as much in the armpit area as the other one had, um, but it definitely covers over the top of the shoulder. But look at that huge pad. That is at least a quarter inch or a half inch thick of padding that's gonna cover all your side love handles. It covers all across the, that is your chest there. And it is kind of like underarm material. So it looks like it's gonna breathe pretty well. It stretches pretty nice. So same thing, even one size larger than you normally wear on this may be a little tight for you. So same thing all the way down the side. And then of course in the back, way more padding in the back than in the front it looks like. So it covers all the way there, way more. This patch here is much bigger. And again, it doesn't cover all the way down back here because you'll have like a paintball pack or harness on. So I believe these retail for $70. Uh, and these are the two, like two, our two favorite chest protectors we really like. A lot of like the kids, family members, moms, dads, they really like their kids to wear something like this. And they're pretty happy whenever they get it, they try it out. Um, be careful washing both of these. We typically recommend to just go and wash them um, and hang dry them. You don't want to put them on, you know, any crazy high heat or anything like that. The material will wear out faster. 
Um, and I do recommend to wear a shirt over one of these because you don't really want to rip this nice padding or material. So whichever chest protector you go with, wear like a long sleeve t-shirt. Again, if it's cold, you can wear like a hoodie over top. That way it really protects the chest protector, especially because they are expensive. Um, again, the Exalt chest protector is about $45, $50 and the Planet Eclipse Overload chest protector is about $70. And again, you want to go one size larger than you would normally wear a shirt. So that's just our quick overview. There are others that are out there. Uh, we have one by Gen X that's very, very inexpensive, barely covers anything in the front. We have those on our website, but they're not one of our top sellers. So if you guys have any questions about padding or these specific chest protectors, make sure you comment below. But as always, you can reach out to us through our Instagram at ProH Paintball. Comment below. Uh, my name is John Jackson. I answer all the questions, read all the reviews, all that good stuff. So if you guys have any questions, reach out to me directly on Instagram, Facebook, any of that stuff. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please take a second, like our video. It really helps our YouTube channel grow, really helps other players like yourself find our videos if you like them. If you even leave a little quick comment like, hey, nice video, we really appreciate all that support. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.